Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. Today, uh, we're going to take a look at these uh, oddball things. So it's going to be a weird, weird little video here. Um, this is an RMZ City uh, diorama model kit. Um, it appears to be made by a company called Inno. I don't think that's in any relation to Inno 64. Um, but anyway, I got a few of these. I showed them in a Diecast Weekly episode a while back. I think I ended up picking up six of them. Um, I did assemble one for the video here. So this is the Musical Instrument Shop, which is a two-story little building here, a little apartment above and a, and a music shop down below uh, with the Audi A5 Sportback. So the car itself, not too bad. Nice little plastic thing, or well, it's plastic base, metal body, plastic tires. So just like a basic, uh, basic car. So the dioramas I got, I'm going to run through all of them. Um, then we're going to put one together, uh, together on film, and so I can show you how they come together. And then we are going to, I'll put them all together, and I'll show them, you know, all uh, how they all look assembled once we get it and I'll link them together and stuff like that. That's kind of how we're going to do this. So this is the first one I've already assembled for you. This is the, um, again, the musical instrument shop with the Audi A5 Sportback. So we'll move that aside for right now. And then uh, the next one we got is the BMW X6. Same sort of two story building. This one is the toy store. And then another sort of thing. This one is a Land Rover Range Rover Sport. Shiny shoe shop. And then we got the pet shop with the Toyota 86. So those are those style. And then I've got corner pieces. Two of them. BMW 550i. And this is, what is this? The tourist information. And then I've got uh, this one here, Audi R8 V10, gifts and souvenirs. So I think what we'll do, we got to pick one to put together. Uh, we should probably put together one of just the two-story buildings, I think, on camera. Let's do this Toyota 86 uh, with the pet shop. All right, so hopefully we got enough stuff here. I don't have to stop the camera. We can go ahead and quickly build this. All right, so it just opens at the top. It's tape shut. I'm going to go ahead and just cut the tape. Uh, I don't think you should really need tools for this. Here's how it comes out of the box. So there's the bottom half of the building, pretty much nearly assembled. Uh, the car is screwed to the base, but we can take that out, and a little cardboard retainer thing for the packaging, and then here is the top, also with the street that goes in front, that's the, it for the box, it's going to set that aside, so here's the top of the building, and in here you've got some other accessories some other stuff um, and of course you get an instruction book in a sticker sheet so you can choose what to put in your shop I don't think I used all of the decals on the other one just because I wanted to keep the windows open but you can stick these stickers on the windows if you wish all right so here's a quick look at how it goes together Some of it's kind of already pre-assembled right now. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is unscrew the car from the base. We need to take that off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't think we need the screw for anything, but it's kind of got this little washer deal. And then the screw. All right, there's that, there's that. Here's the car. Not a bad casting of it, really. Not bad. All right, so let's see if we can pull this off and put this together right on camera. 
like I said, it's mostly kind of already together, but you have to kind of take it apart uh, to finish it. So there's the back of the store taken out. It's kind of cool that it's curved, kind of gives you some perspective, uh, some illusion of depth. So there's the front without the back on it. This is a little retainer brick piece. You can just make these as one, uh, just one building. So like the top on this without being two stories, but this is going to be the top of your building right here. Um, so what you're gonna do is I guess we're gonna start by putting together that. So all these tops of buildings and stuff are gonna be interchangeable between all these sets. Um, and then I believe we would want to make sure my windows are in there good. You could take the windows out, okay. Uh, if you wanted to, and then I think what we need to do is slide this top piece on. Yeah, I'm kind of doing that off camera, but here you go. This is what I'm doing. Oop, a window fell out. And that goes in like that. Make sure it's snapped in good. Then this piece goes in. Should snap all the way to the front. There we go. And then you would put the backs in. I think that's all that goes in here. This is the back for the top. And this is the back for the bottom. I don't think it's quite snapped in right, but for the purposes of the video, might be good enough. Let me see. There we go. It gives, you, it gives a satisfying click when it goes in. Now, one of the cool features of this, too, is if you look at the back here, there's holes in the back. Um, these are actually, if I've seen, um, I think I saw some marketing images for these, but they show that you can put lights in the back of here. So you can put lights in the back of here and give the buildings the appearance of being uh, lit up, which is kind of a cool uh, touch. So there you go. There's that. Um, let's see here. Let's open up our little bag. Let's knock over one of them. Oh, that's right. So there is a chimney I just saw pop out. That would be this right here. That goes right up in there. Um, let's see here. In order to do that, we got to pop this back out a little bit. Like that. And this should slide right in. And then this should clip back on, hopefully. There, looks good. All right, so we got our pet shop mostly assembled here. Um, so these little things are what connect. So they're like Legos almost. So this will connect uh, to the street and will also connect the dioramas together. This one also looks like it comes with some, uh, some lights. So we can put one right there. And probably should come up with another one. We'll put that one right in there it kind of doesn't want to fit fits nice and snug um, it's got a little sandwich board that you can really put anywhere it doesn't really click in or anything like that but it comes with decals for it if you want to put those on there looks like uh, probably the puppy running or that or that gives you some options it looks like it's kind of cool um, we've got a stoplight so that would obviously go at the end of the street here. And then we got a street light. And obviously that can go there. Um, and then there's also a little space for decals right up here too, should you want to put those on. Um, let me see. There's one piece I thought that this came with and I don't see it. The other one came with it. Oh, there it is. Here's a kind of a neat little thing. So see this little thing right here? This they give you to cover up the screw hole that was left behind from having the casting. So now you don't see the screw hole. See, it's right there. That's literally the sole purpose of that little piece, just to cover that up. That's kind of a cool th that they thought of that. I thought that was a, that was a pretty neat, neat thing. Um, let's see here. I don't know if I have this quite together right, because it's kind of like, it's not sitting quite level. 
a little twisted for some reason. Probably fix that off camera. But anyway, let's go ahead and connect the street. So very simple. If you've ever played with Legos before, you know what you're doing there. So there you go. There's a look at that. And then we're not going to put in any of the stickers right now. But then we are going to connect it to the music shop, which I've already got one of those little Lego things. They should snap right together. And voila. Now I've got a little bit of street there. So that went pretty smooth, right? Didn't take too long to do. Um, it takes some camera trickery to get this thing to look really good. Uh, the other thing that it probably is going to need is some weathering effect. I think that's what I'm going to do with these. Is I'm going to eventually make them look all kind of dingy, grimy, and just make them look like that. I think that would be a good call on these things. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them together, and then uh, we'll take a look at all of them. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I got them all together. Didn't take very long. And I got to say, they look pretty cool. They're not bad. Um, I got these for, they were all on sale. So, so we got four. I'm going to hold the camera up here to actually see it proper. We've got uh, four of the buildings and then uh, two of the corner pieces, which I put on opposing ends here. Um, here's all the, the little castings. The castings aren't terrible. They're not bad. Um, they're not great, but they're not bad. Um, the dioramas themselves, I think, are pretty cool. If you get a bunch of them, you get them in a string like this. You could definitely make a scene with this. And that's kind of what I plan on doing, is using this as the base for it. I wouldn't say this is like the end all. You know, you just set these up and you're good to go. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do some cool things with them. One of them is I think I'm going to light them up. Um, another one, you know, I'm going to try to make kind of like a dingy nighttime city sort of scene with this but this will be the basis for it no idea when it'll get done uh, i didn't put any of the decals on or anything like that uh, some of these parts are they fit really well some of them you definitely are going to want to like glue in if you want them in there permanently and stuff like that but i think as a basis for kind of a cityscape diorama this works pretty good i'm um, just going to have to learn how to weather weather it and uh you know trick it out a little bit and then get it looking pretty cool for some photographs but let me know what you guys think about these in the comments down below these were on sale from hobby link japan i don't have, know if they have any more i got them pretty cheap i think with each car i only paid like eight bucks or something a piece for them uh, when they were on sale uh so i don't know if they're probably not still on sale but um they're definitely pretty cool, so I'd recommend it for anybody. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick video on RMZ City uh, dioramas. Uh, try to find them. See if you can find them anywhere. If you, if you do, uh, pick them up if you think they're going to be cool. Like I said, eh, they're not very cool right out of the box just because of the bright colors and all that good stuff, but I think something could definitely be done uh, to make them look a little bit better i'll probably take some pictures with them as is anyway just to see so there you go there you have it thank you very much have a good day